When the speaker continued to not recognize me as a duly elected official, my constituents and community protested on behalf of the democratic right to be heard. I raised my mic and stood in solidarity with them. I am devoted to those who rise in defense of democracy. <coughs> it is pretty wild that they just like literally would refuse. All while Montana is voting to erase trans people from all laws relating to gender in the state. And then following that, they proceed not to allow their trans woman representative to speak on any bill. This is fascism. I'm not holding my words here, says Aaron Reed. Uh, representative Marler stands. Wait, hold on. Um. No, Representative Zephyr has not been censured. This is an entirely unprecedented action to not recognize the representative while being too cowardly to bring a censure motion to vote. So originally what the what everybody thought they were going to do in Montana was basically censure uh, Representative Zephyr like they did in Tennessee. But because they saw what happened in Tennessee, they wanted to do this in a quiet way, which is like more cowardly, I guess, um, where they just refused to call on her, like refused to hear her out. But then, of course, uh, there were hella uh, pro-trans uh, protesters. Uh, transgender Montana lawmaker Zoe Zephyr was again prevented from taking part in a debate over a measure banning gender-affirming care for minors as supporters brought the House session to a halt, chanting, let her speak from the gallery. <laughs> And then they, of course, brought the fucking uh, dogs, the, the fucking pig dogs, the, the hogs to, you know, kick them out forcibly. Yeah, look at this. Like children. Yeah, I'm sure you're proud of yourself, big boy. You know, good job. So, yeah, America uh, is just great. It's awesome. Yeah, piglets and fucking assault gear for children. Great stuff. Sometimes I add more. Um, if it's banning surgeries regarding minors, well, then what's the issue? Let me ask you this. Let's say you're a minor that has a hormonal imbalance, okay? Let's say that you're a minor who has a hormonal imbalance who goes to the doctor and the doctor says, we're going to prescribe birth control to you, which is a, you know, a hormonal corrective, I guess, Right? Let's say that the Republican Party does not look kindly upon that uh, in the future, where they have decided that contraceptives and birth control is a form of a contraceptive is no longer allowed to be given to minors. All of a sudden, you are making a medical decision that should be left up to a minor, a consenting adult parent, and also a doctor, a healthcare professional, down to a bunch of psychotic, oftentimes pedophilic weirdos who have no business having a say in this process. Let medical decisions be left to medical professionals. Now, you utilize the term surgeries, banning surgeries, okay? Just asking Jesus. First of all, you're not just asking. You just said banning surgeries. That's not just asking. You asked in a cynical way. I didn't even actually rip on you at all. I just gave you an analogy so you better understand the situation at hand. Now you're fucking butthurt, even though I didn't even fucking yell at you. I literally didn't say anything about you. You just got defensive for no fucking reason. All of a sudden, maybe you were a sensitive Steven because you weren't just asking questions. You were nefariously making the situation at hand seem a lot worse than it actually is. There are no actual corrective surgeries that you can do to minors, okay? They're not. In some instances, you can do like top surgery potentially, but that's pretty much it. This is not about banning surgeries. This is about banning HRT or hormone blockers for minors. A, a, a sensitive subject matter that is left up to medical professionals in every other circumstance, except uh, in this circumstance, they're not doing that and they're lying about it. They want to force people to detransition. It's not just about minors, and it's not just about surgeries, and it's not about minor surgeries at all. I 
I hope you understand, though, that this is the exact same kind of fear mongering that they did about abortion. And then they backed away from that so quick. Abortion is murder. Abortion is murder, they said. And now they're like, OK, maybe it's not murder up to 10 weeks. Like, what the fuck? Since when, dog? It's still murder, right? What happened? Every single piece of shit, vulturous dickhead in the Republican Party. By the way, I'm noticing that I'm getting a lot more angry now that Kaya is not behind me. It's something that I'm definitely uh, considerate of. Holy shit. The moment that my mom took her uh, to, to go outside and run outside, I started getting more mad. Okay. <laughs> I said something disingenuous. Why is everyone yelling at me? Okay. So what the fuck happened? All of a sudden, they're like making exceptions for murder. Okay, murder in the first 10 weeks is fine. Is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. Because it was never murder. It was never real. They just wanted to stop a medical a, a medical decision that was supposed to be left to a, 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 a person and their fucking medical professional. They wanted the government to intervene in that. They wanted to take away women's bodily autonomy. And they very successfully did that. They suffered the consequences of uh, moving on those idiotic urges uh that was a a political misstep going that fucking far and it didn't stop them from doing so because they're fucking demons okay anyway i'm done with that we're moving on and we are going to talk about